watching KWQC TV, making a difference in the Quad Cities. Live from the Quad Cities with Morgan OTA and Kyle Keel. This is Quad Cities Live. Today on QCL, holiday fashion with Max Models, including tips for putting together a festive outfit with the clothes already in your closet. Plus, details on the winter art market at the Figgy, along with a buy one, gift one museum membership opportunity. And later, Miniso has more than 6,000 stores worldwide and more than 250 right here in the U.S., including a location at North Park Mall in Davenport. We'll take a closer look at the products just in time for holiday shopping. You're watching Quad Cities Live. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Morgan OTA. Well, the holidays are upon us, which means all kinds of events from family dinners to parties with friends. So what are you going to wear? Here to help is a woman who knows a thing or two about fashion, Holly Bell, owner of Max Models and Talent. Holly, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. I am so pleased to be here. I've been looking forward to my time with Holly since I first saw you on Paula, and this is kind of the first time we've got you and, and all the models on for a really fun show today. So Holly's going to be joining us throughout the hour. Um, but right now we are going to be focused on actually um, really how to dress up items that may already be in our closet. Yes, yeah, sometimes you don't want to go to the effort or the expense of buying a new outfit for every season. They, so exactly. hey, you can take some stuff from your closet, dress it up with a few accessories and look fabulous. Okay, so we are focused on accessories today and kind of changing an outfit using an accessory. So uh, should we bring out some models? Oh yeah, come on Mandy. We've got Mandy coming out first, looking beautiful as she always does. Always. Well Mandy has on a very simple little slip dress. Everybody's just got a simple little dress in your closet, but we made it look really festive with that fabulous fur faux fur yeah. coat and some amazing earrings so I mean that's all you would have to do and just think how many times you could wear that little jacket you could wear it with jeans it's so versatile yeah and I mean you can put any dress underneath it and hey you're looking holiday yeah and that's then, great and then we also you know a little evening bag that completely dresses up a simple little dress. Yeah, it does. And yeah, the jewelry and everything with the sparkle, it's yes. it's, it's, it's all about gorgeous. this is holiday and the these accessories are from Dillard's North Park, who are super nice people and they have a wonderful selection. Yeah, they really do. Okay, Mandy looks beautiful. Who do we who do we have uh, coming up next? Okay, and the next person we have is Hope Hope's been around for a long time. She's one of our longtime yeah. models. I've known Hope since she's been 16, and she's only 24 now. So um, she's just showing a simple little outfit, and that outfit is from Cherry Lane Boutique. And Cherry oh, Lane used to be um, Peaceful Styles. And so she just has a simple little outfit, but we gathered together uh, some cute holiday earrings. Now, doesn't that just yeah. make it look like, okay, I'm festive now? It does, with the little sparkle. And uh -huh. I feel like, too, um, the baggy jeans, are they're just like so in right now. They are. I'm here for it. I love it. I know. Well, of course, the comfort is everything. But also, there's a little bit of sparkle in her shirt. I don't know if it shows up on TV, but a little thread of a yep. metallic thread always looks really festive and catches the light. Yeah, that'll definitely do it. Yeah, she mm -hmm. looks beautiful, and she's got the bracelet and everything. Yes, and a little bling. You know, just adding a little bling does everything. Yeah, it really does. Okay, wow. Hope looks great. Yeah. Uh, we have Connie coming up next. And Connie already had this dress in her closet so we I wanted love that we that's want, the theme here that's the theme here so we wanted to dress up that dress and guess how we did it with some fabulous oh jewelry from Dillard's at North Park yes I mean and that black bling is the astonishingly um, gorgeous and it brings so much light and festivity to that outfit that is beautiful uh, when Connie walked in which uh, full disclosure I know Connie I love Connie she always looks beautiful but I just could not get over that necklace. So I, I love to see like a statement, statement jewelry well, yes, being it, used. Exactly. And everything's been so tiny for so long. Yes. So it's kind of fun to see a, a nice big statement necklace, don't you think? I love it. Yes. It, everything comes back around and, and this is one that I get excited about. It, yes, me too. I can't wait. Very cool. Well, and I love that dress. So Connie's going to have to tell me where she got that one when, when, <laughs> when we go to commercial break. Uh, next we have Stephanie. And Stephanie is wearing things from 830 
838 Bougie. Oh, cute. And by the way, 838 is under new ownership now. So it's kind of fun to stop in there and see what's happening with 838. Yeah. And I love this outfit, a simple black pant and a really cute sweater, which of course she has to have because it looks so good on her. I love that. Uh, with those little details on the, on the sleeves and the neckline. But again, we just added a little bling to that black and white. And black and white can always look dressy or casual or dressed up. It's just amazing what you can do with black and white. And just, yeah. Yeah, I love jewelry. that. And the vests, I've been seeing more of like the layering as well, um, you know, coming back into play. But I haven't seen a vest like that where it's kind of like uh, bubbled at the bottom. That's I really know. cute. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And it's very fashionable. And boy, you can put that with so many outfits and wear it any season, really. Just like Mandy's fur, fur coat, fur jacket. Yeah, yeah, it goes with everything. Well, Stephanie, thank you so much. Looks beautiful. Uh, as I mentioned, too, um, Holly's going to be joining us for, uh, throughout the show. But for anybody who doesn't know, tell us a little bit more about Max Models and Talent okay. um, because we get to see your models all the time looking great, fabulous. We've seen them on TV in commercials. We've seen them here on PSL, now QCL. Um, but you uh, you offer a lot with Max Models and Talent. We do. Um, we've been with, I've been with and the owner of Max Models and Talent for over 20 years. Yeah. And um, we've been doing all kinds of things for the Quad Cities and beyond. We do commercials, we do classes, and we teach people not necessarily, they don't have to be a high fashion model. Right. They just need to have confidence. They need to be well groomed. They need to feel good about themselves. They need to know how to present themselves in front of people. Yeah. And so we have, we have classes and we have children to adult, any age really. Yeah. And then we also have acting classes and speaking on camera classes. I should have taken one of those classes when I first got <laughs> You don't started. need it, darling. <laughs> Um, you, um, you're fabulous. But well, that's great. I mean, it's great to hear all about that. And I love what you said about, um, you know, it just gives people a little bit more confidence to, um, you know, you don't have to become a model, but these are things that you can do just for, for everyday life. You know, for you're going on a job life. interview or something. These are all tools um, that you can use. Exactly. And we do, we also do styling. If, for instance, like you're, you just are entering the job market or you have a new job and you're not, you feel a little bit unsure about yeah. how to us, we can help you with that too. Wonderful. Well, if you want to learn more about Max Models and Talent, from the models themselves to any upcoming classes or workshops, uh, you're going to want to visit the website that's right there on the bottom of your screen. Max, that's two X's, maxmodels.org. And uh, as we mentioned, we're going to see Holly and all of our models again a little bit later. Uh, we're going to be talking about some more casual holiday looks. So look forward to that. And still to come on QCL, an upcoming shopping event at the Figgy Art Museum. Plus, buy one, gift one a new membership promotion just in time for the holidays. You're watching Quad Cities Live. Bringing art and people together, that's the mission at the Figgy Art Museum, and there is an incredible promotion underway at the Figgy this holiday season, doing just that. Here from the Figgy with details are Emma Hughes and Chelsea Long. Ladies, welcome back. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. It's good to be here. Thank you so much for being here. We've got a lot of really fun stuff to get to today. So, um, Emma, we're going to start with you. So, uh, this is a new promotion called Buy One, Gift One. Yes. Um, instead of Buy One, Get One. I just think it's so cute. <laughs> um, so, uh, explain to people how this works. Yeah. So, in a way, you are buying one and getting one. But yes. the one you get is meant to give away for the holidays. I love so, it. this holiday season, we're doing the Buy One, Gift One memberships. And when you come in and you sign up for a, a new membership to the Figgy, you'll get a gift certificate that is a that is basically a certificate for a membership that you can give to somebody in your life for the holidays. That's and amazing. Memberships make such a great gift because it's not just one thing, it's a whole year of experiences and events and ways to engage with the art at the Figgy. So yeah. it's a really it makes a really great gift and it's a great promotion for people who aren't yet members but are wanting to try it out. Yeah, this is wonderful. And you said the membership it goes through the whole year. So once yes. you give this gift, they've yeah. got a year of being able to come and visit the Figgy. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, talk a little bit more about some of the benefits included in a Figgy membership because there's actually quite a bit there. Absolutely. So the big, the big banner benefit is free admission. Yes. So once you start your membership, you can get into the museum for free every single time. Um, we have lots of exhibition changes throughout the year, so it's great to come back multiple times a year. Yeah. Every month or two, we've got something new to see. Um, members also get a 10% discount in our store. Um, we've got lots of great little gift items for the holidays right now, but throughout the 
year we have lots of great stuff. They get discounts on classes and camps and workshops, mm -hmm. and those are for all ages and all experience levels, so everybody can enjoy. Yeah. And we've got member exclusive events throughout the year, so there's lots on there's lots that you get. There's when lots you sign of up. perks to yes. having a membership, and I, I'm glad that you brought this up because I, I think a lot of people when they think of a museum, they think of the things inside the museum being very stagnant. So I'm mm -hmm. glad that you brought up the fact that exhibitions they are they're changing all the time mm -hmm. at the Figgy um, constantly. If you just mm -hmm. visit their website on a regular basis, you will see that things are constantly being added. There are new speakers coming to the Figgy mm -hmm. all the time. So um, this is just a really great way to be able to see all of that and not miss out. So what's the best way to sign up for this? Yeah, so the best way to take advantage of this promotion is actually to go into the museum and sign up for that membership with yeah. our store staff, and that way you can walk out with the gift certificate right. in hand and it's ready to give to somebody. Yeah. Um, so if you're looking for a specific day to come, we are going to be offering up this promotion at our winter art market on okay. December 1st. That's going to be one of many things to check out on that day. So. Yeah, that, um, and we're, we're going to get to that too mm -hmm. in just a second with Chelsea. Um, but yes, just go in and get it so that you can get that, that gift certificate in hand because you mm -hmm. know what, you're getting this for somebody else. So of course you want to yeah. be able to wrap something or put something in an envelope for them. So uh, really the best way to do it is just make a trip to the Figgy. Um, mm -hmm. So you brought up the winter art market, which is coming up on December 1st. This is actually a first of its kind event in some in some ways. Yeah, um, we have not done this at the Figgy yet, so this is our first time doing the Winter Art Wonderful. Market. Um, it will be on Sunday, December 1st, as you said, and it will be noon to 5. So we are holding it on Museum Store Sunday. Um, so see. we will have specials in the um, store and then special gift wrapping too and just a lot going on. So yes, absolutely. And the way that this differs um, from Museum Store Sunday, so there's no there's no tax or something. Is that the is that the perk for Museum Store Sunday? We're always tax free because we're a nonprofit. Oh my gosh! Um, so you can shop our Museum Store tax free. So this is mm -hmm. a great spot to do your Christmas shopping. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, and then in addition to the Museum Store, we'll have um, 16 vendors that we have confirmed now. So these are all local artists. Um, a lot of actually Figgy staff will be vending. I will be vending oh my, uh, my tie dye, um, and we have other artists um, as well. So mm -hmm. yes, okay. Um, so uh, there's going to be more than a dozen vendors just there in the lobby at the Figgy Art Museum. So it, it's a great opportunity if you are looking for that one of a kind, uh, mm. unique gift for somebody. And what a cool place to just buy someone's art and creativity in in an art museum. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yes. that's very neat. So again, this is being held in conjunction with Museum Store Sunday. Um, so that is though something that you guys have done for, for many years, Museum Store Sunday. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So Museum Store Sunday we hold every year and this is, uh, we kind of wanted to make it bigger this year and more things for people do, to do when they come to the museum. So uh, we added in the art market and then there's um, other festive happenings as well. Okay. Uh, we're going to have a hot cocoa bar that day. We have a make your own bouquet oh, I love um, that. bar for that. And then we also have live music from Wolf Skill in the Wild. We'll they be performed perform on our They're show. Great. They're yeah. wonderful. Yeah, they we love them at the Figgy. They oh, yeah. um, they do a lot for us at the Figgy. So they're great. They will be performing so that'll be fun. Um, yeah, and then shopping, of course. So. Mm -hmm. And all the shopping that you all can get done, not only at the store, but with all the, the makers and artisans there that are going to be in the lobby. And um, again, this is a really good opportunity for you to get the buy one, gift one. Um, mm -hmm. You mentioned there's going to be like a table set up for yes, that there. So I am not one of the staff that's going to be a vendor at this event, <laughs> okay. but I will be there. You'll be there writing it out yep. gift certificate. I'll be there at the laptop ready to get those memberships set up. Okay. So you can walk in, get your membership, get your gift, uh, get your gift membership, check out any of the other art to see if you want to pick up any Wonderful. more gifts. And then while you're there, head up into the museum and right. enjoy because and at that point they'll already be a member. Yeah, so exactly. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so uh, make sure that you are, are doing that. We've got all of this happening on uh, December 1st. It is the Winter Art Market and Museum Store Sunday in conjunction with one another. This is from noon to five. Um, again, the perfect time to sign up for your new Figgy membership, allowing you to gift it to someone else. Uh, if you want to know more about what included in a Figgy membership, uh, just head to the website that's there at the bottom of your screen, which is figgyartmuseum.org. Uh, Emma and Chelsea, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. Of course, yes, thank lots you. Lots of good stuff to talk about. Coming up on QCL, putting together an outfit for a holiday party or gathering doesn't mean you need to dress up. Max Models and Talent is back after the break with a look at some more casual options.
watching Quad Cities Live. Dressing comfortably and a little bit casually this holiday season does not mean that you have to eliminate style. Holly Bell is with Max Models and Talent, and she is back with us now. Uh, got a lot to talk about in, in this next segment today, which is um, you know a, a little, little bit more casual than what you're going to see later in the show. Um, really quickly, I wanted to talk a bit about uh, where some of these beautiful items are sourced from here today. Um, one of the places being Dillard's, which is actually where you got what you're wearing. Today, yes, I'm, I'm very gorgeous. sparkly today yes. because I every time I go in Dillard's, I can't resist. I know. <laughs> so, um, yes, I had to wear something from Dillard's today. But, yeah, Dillard's um, is one of my favorite stores simply because of uh, the brands, the selection. Yeah, there's a lot There's a lot of selection there. Yeah, and so it's, it's pretty awesome. Yes, and then we have a couple of local boutiques as well. So the next one is Cherry Lane uh, Boutique, which we're going to be uh, talking about some items that some of the models are wearing here today. So for any Anybody that doesn't know, Cherry Lane is located on Devil's Glen in Bettendorf, and we've got the website there on your screen as well as the phone number. So if you ever want to check out maybe something that you see on air today or just take a look at what they have going on, that's where you can find them. And then we've got 838 Boutique, um, which is, uh, and was this the one you were talking about in the first segment where there's going to be some new items there? There's been a change of ownership? Yes, there's been a change of ownership, and 838 is a composite of several boutiques that's in one right. store. So well, that's kind of fun because you get the advantage of a lot of different tastes, yep. a, a, a lot of selection, and there's always great people there to help you too. Yeah, you can go with with mom, grandma, and daughter, and you guys will all leave with something that exactly. you like. Exactly, it, they've got something for everyone. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so uh, let's let's get to our models here today who look so beautiful. Uh, a lot of people throw holiday parties, which of course means that uh, they don't necessarily need to wear something fancy or or glamorous. Let's just put it that way. Um, you can err on the more casual side. Well, yes. Um, and sometimes you have parties at home. Exactly. And so Mandy's going to be showing you something. I mean, you want to be comfortable and casual, but yet you still need so to be festive. pretty. Isn't this a cute outfit? Oh, my gosh. The sweater. And yes, it's a set, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, they, it didn't come together. We <gasps> put it together. Wow. I mean, isn't it awesome? Yeah. And that cute little skirt is so festive. And you could wear that, you know, forever. It's absolutely delicious darling and a, just a little festive sweater you know you always look cute with a holiday sweater on yeah and of course we blinked it up with the oh my goodness earrings I love I them mean, those would sparkle and you'd get lots of head turning and then we dressed it up a little with that cute stone bag yeah that bag the bag is gorgeous the va that's on my Christmas list for, <laughs> for, for sure <laughs> Me um, too. no but I absolutely love this and you're so right I mean this is definitely something that you could wear if you were going out, yes. um, out, out, restaurant, or, or mm -hmm. party, or something like that. But if you were just going to like a house party, it's still perfect for exactly. that. Exactly. And even if you were at home, you could cook in that. You, you know, could. Because it's, that's what I always think of. What can I cook uh, in and still look good? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Yes. Mandy looks uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Okay. We've got Hope next, who looks adorable. Just wait till you see this great sweater. Oh, isn't this fun? Yeah. Yes. This is from Cherry Lane. And of course, everybody has a jean skirt in their closet or a pair of jeans. Yes. And so how to dress that up with a cute little fun holiday sweater. And just looking at that sweater makes me happy. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, me too. About it. There's it's an just, adorable Rudolph on that sweater. It, yes, that is so adorable. And then, of course, we put a little uh, shirt underneath it for just a little bit of texture and a little bit of contrast with the collar. Yeah, and that makes a huge difference. It doesn't make a huge difference. Yeah. It just looks more pulled together. Yeah, it really does. And the denim skirts are really in right now. And I've also been seeing, too, you can do like the longer denim skirts, which yes. is great. Den denim skirts can be any length. They can be mini, they can be in between, or they can be maxi. Yeah. And they're so on point and on trend this season. Yeah, that and is some, something you could wear anywhere. Anywhere. And you can wear that all year round, too. Yeah, you absolutely could. You're mm -hmm. right. I mean, maybe not the Rudolph sweater, but definitely the jean skirt. It, definitely <laughs> the jean skirt. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much, Hope. That looks beautiful. Who do we have next here? We've okay, got Okay, and this is Connie. And Connie, I mean, you have to wear red during the holidays, yeah, don't you? I love this outfit. I mean, she looks great in red. Look at those earrings. 
I know, aren't those earrings to die for? Yes. I'm so happy that there's, bling is back, folks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. I am too. <laughs> Give me all the sparkles. Give me all the sparkles because it makes you feel pretty. Yes, I think it, it really does. And she had to purchase a sweater because it's so her. And I, and I just love that bright red color. And those pants fit so nice. These are from, these are from Dillard's and they just have a nice straight, uh, tailored edge to yeah, them that do. is very flattering. Yeah, this is beautiful. And then, so are the earrings her own? Or no, the, the earrings are from Dillard's too. Those they, are from Dillard's too. They, they have a pretty <gasps> astounding collection. They really do. Yeah, they do. I'm going to have to get there. It's hard It's hard to get out of the jewelry department, yeah. honestly. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Well, Connie, thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. All right, we have Stephanie next. Looking, oh my gosh, this sweater is gorgeous. Isn't that cute too? I mean, and this is Stephanie and she's wearing something from 838, which is under new ownership, so they have new and different things. Oh, wow. And she's wearing it with this cute little red leather skirt. I love this because it, I don't think, as somebody who doesn't put pull together yeah. um, outfits really all that well, I would never really necessarily think a red leather skirt right. with, you know, the beige and the gold, and it's perfect. Well, you know, sometimes you have to experiment. Yeah. Take things in your closet and mix them up a little bit, and you're surprised and you have a new outfit that's totally fabulous. Yeah, I mean... The, it's unexpected, the, the red leather is, but yet it's very cool. It and of great. course, we put a little evening bag with it. So oh, why not uh, yes. glitter glitter a little bit more? Glitter it up, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the sweater is beautiful. I love all the detail on that. I it's love all gorgeous. the detail on that sweater. I would be tempted to wear that, you know, anytime. Yeah, me too. It doesn't have to be holiday. Cute for New Year's Eve with black pants. I mean, you could do a lot with that sweater. Dress it up, dress yeah. it down. That's gorgeous. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness, beautiful. Well, I even hate to call it, thank you so much, I even hate to call it um, casual because everyone looked so like It's stunning. casual, but yet it's um, like um, it's casual. elevated casual. Elevated casual, that's a perfect term. Yeah, it, everybody looked fabulous. And um, when you come back, which we are, we are both so excited about because I think we're both kind of glam gals, although I don't look so glam today. Yes, um, do. It's my favorite, it's my favorite thing. So Me at too. the end of the show, um, our very last, segment together, uh, Max Models is going to show us some glam looks. Yes. Um, so we're really excited about that. So Holly will be back with us soon with everybody that we just saw. And also coming up in our next half hour, gift shopping with Mini So USA. We're going to take a look at what the store has to offer now with a location at North Park Mall. Plus, it's November 21st and technically the winter season doesn't start for another month. But it certainly feels like winter. Meteorologist Kyle Dickens has your full first alert forecast after the break. And now your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Dickens. And as we take a look at our Skyview cameras here, our Everywhere Camera Network, yeah, we're starting to see some sunshine in some of our areas, some of our hometowns out to the west. If you're to the east, though, much different story here in the Quad Cities. Yeah, we're still dealing with some of those clouds. Now, if you're out to the east, you're dealing with some snow still and maybe some rain now that that uh, temperature has risen. But outside right now here in the metro, 38 degrees under cloudy skies with that west northwest wind here. It's been gusting up to 40 at times 50 miles an hour. Look at that sustained at about 31 miles an hour. You can feel that wind makes it feel like 25 degrees outside right now. The winds are going to start to subside as we head uh, deeper into the evening, but it's going to stick around. Still be a breezy night uh, and a north breeze, so it's going to feel chilly. We'll probably get down into the teens on the feel like temperature for some hometowns, but there is some good news. We're going to see some uh, warmer temperatures. We head into the weekend just in time for that Festival of Trees Parade. Take a look at First Alert Doppler radar here and uh, out from uh, really the Princeton area. It's been east of the river. If you're with us last night and yesterday, we talked about uh, that band of snow that was going to be moving in from the Great Lakes. Well, uh, exact track nailed it on the positioning really from Galena, Savannah, Clinton down towards Geneseo, Kiwani and to the east. That's where we've seen the activity. Now it's starting to switch over to a rainfall. Temperatures are above freezing, so I'm not too concerned about any ice developing, but you can still be encounter some slick spots, so be careful with that. That low pressure center just to the south of Green Bay is what has uh, been the catalyst for all this activity, and now that wave is kind of pushing in under that low, and that is what is causing it. This is going to continue to slide off to the southeast, though, and that will push that activity out over time, but that is also that center of that low. Uh, the pressure gets lower as you get closer to the low. That's why it's called a low, and that's where those winds start to get strong. 
longer. So it's we got to get that out of here to get those winds to weaken a little bit, which we will see. The other thing we're going to notice too is as time goes on here, we're going to key in and keep temperatures here pretty steady in the uh, mid to upper 30s as we head into the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning, wake it up at 39 degrees. I do think that this is a little rambunctious on the clouds. We'll see some clouds, but I think we'll start to see some clouds break and some clearing possible. We'll make it up into the 40s. And then once that clearing occurs, we get to Saturday. And here's the day that we see, of course, festival trees sprayed. We're going to see some sunshine. And by the afternoon, we should see plenty of sunshine and highs in the 40s. So a uh, little bit of an improvement compared to today. Now we're looking ahead, obviously, big travel weekend and also into next week. Now, this is very early. This is going to change change folks, but we just want to give you a quick a little first alert, right, of some potential storm systems moving into the Midwest. Possibly Monday going to keep the rain chances out for the time being, but uh, we'll watch that Tuesday. Then another one moves in that could linger into Wednesday. Models are all over the place on placement, timing, and of course, precipitation type, but it's something that we're going to watch that could linger into our Thanksgiving. So we'll keep an eye on that. That moves out and much cooler weather is forecasted here once we get towards the end of next week. Look at that, 32 degrees for a high. Oh boy, folks, that is some winter-like weather, so get ready. It's almost that time, but uh, I'll certainly put you in the holiday spirit. Uh, for the rest of the day today, we'll be into the uh, 30s here. I can't rule out uh, one of those snow showers, rain showers mixed out in our eastern counties. That'll continue on 45 degrees for Friday. We'll start to see some sunshine. That's the good news. Festival Trees Day here on Saturday. It is looking pretty nice. I'm pretty excited because we're going to see some good weather finally for uh, Festival Trees. It's going to look cool, so start off with that jacket as you head out. Then we get into next week. We're going to be in the 50s Sunday. Enjoy it, folks, because yeah, temperatures start to take a tumble. 39 by Wednesday, 37 Tuesday. We're watching Tuesday, Wednesday. You're going to keep the rain chances out for the time being, or uh, I should say precipitation chances out, but the chances there that we could see some wet weather once we get towards the middle of next week. Of course, the day before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving big, big time for everybody. And uh, of course, Black Friday. So busy time. We'll see how that pans out and our forecast, Morgan. Yeah, I'm okay, I think, with wet weather. When you when you start talking about, um, you know, fronts and storm chances and, and things like that in, in late November and early December, I uh, my mind automatically goes to inches of snow. It, 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 it's, I get it, right? And we've seen it before. It's not out of the question. No, it's not. <laughs> Unfortunately, but the good news is, and I'm sure you're excited, Festival Trees Parade is looking dry and overall very nice. Yeah, if we yes. could bump up to that high temperature at like 10 a.m., that would, <laughs> that would help. Out, right? Yeah, but. All, right. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Morgan. Up next on Quad Cities Live, find the perfect gift or stocking stuffer by making a trip to Miniso now with a location inside North Park Mall. We'll get a look at the variety of items available after the break. You're watching Quad Cities Live. Miniso is a variety store chain that specializes in household and consumer goods, including things like cosmetics, stationery, toys, kitchenware. The company has more than 6,000 stores globally, more than 250 across the U.S., now including a location right here in the Quad Cities. April Lindsay is a store manager at the Miniso in Davenport's North Park Mall. April, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. I'm super excited to talk about everything that you guys have because I will say, even though we're sitting here and saying how many locations you have and um, you know all over the world, I, what you carry I think is very unique. It's not stuff yes. that we really see anywhere else. No, um, we do carry a lot of different stuff. Um, I mean, ranging from food to drinks to kitchen. Um, we really do have quite a lot of stuff. So and. Yeah a very um, big variety. You do, and what we have on the screen right now is really everything that you can expect when you walk into the store. Yes. Everything from, you know, tiny little great stocking stuffers like the keychains and the charms, stationery and gifts, but the, you've got some bigger items too that, um, you know, great to purchase any time of year, but also really great under the Christmas tree this year. Yes. Um, so you were just telling me before we started today that you have some on your side and some on yes. my side. So these are your plushies. Yes, these are just a very uh, small amount of the uh, 
very big amount of plushies that we do have. That is actually Chikawa that is um, included in one of our newest holiday collections. The one that I'm holding? Yes. Oh, cute. Yes. And also, um, which is also included in our new holiday collection, is also going to be our Harry Potter, um, Chikawa, and also our San Rio holiday collection as well, okay. which is um, a lot of these blind boxes right here. Yeah, tell me about what a blind box is. Are these larger ones also yes. blind boxes? Well, um, they come in all different shapes and sizes, okay. um, different ones. So a blind box is um, it's a set, like a collection of different figures in each one. And the point is, is when you don't know what you're going to get. So you want to try oh. and collect every single one um, that is in the collection. Okay. So when you open it, um, I can actually open this one. This one here is one of our best sellers here. That one is? Um, yes, this is the Sanrio characters, the Fantasy Paradise. Okay, you're going to open um, it. Yes, I will go ahead and open this one. Oh, I love opening Yes, stuff. and then you can go ahead and open whichever What's this one. one? You can open that Sanrio one. characters also? Yes, Bath Time. Bath Time. Yes. Is that a specific collection? Um, it is a specific collection. Okay. I believe it is this collection this one right here. here. Okay. Yes. So. How fun. Yeah. You <laughs> never know. My what daughter you're loves get. The, uh, collecting all the things. Like she likes yes. those LOL dolls too. It's just oh. like that. It's yeah. Like you can never have too many of them. Okay. What did you? Yep. What did you get? Two. So this one I don't is even know the <gasps> cinnamon roll, which is extremely popular um, at our location, actually. Really? Yes, cinnamon roll is everyone's go-to. So um, here, a little accessory. Okay, is yeah. this, sorry, I'm being so loud on my mic, but I can't <laughs> open it. Uh, is this like one of those things where people will come in and they'll like, they'll continue to try and buy these blind boxes yes. until they get like the, the one? The one, <gasps> yes. It's yes. like a beanie baby or something. It this is. is reminding me of my childhood. Okay, I got this one. It's oh, so cute. Oh, also cinnamon roll. Oh, yeah. we got lucky today oh, with the cinnamon did. roll yes. with the most popular ones. Exactly. So, yep, yeah, these are, you don't know what you're going to get, but um, it does show you on the large box um, all the different ones that you could get. Oh, I see. So that's yes. kind of a good guide. So if yeah. you, you know, if you're somebody, and so what comes in one of these large boxes? Do you get more than one of these? Yeah. So um, in the large boxes, it's actually just um, a bunch of these smaller boxes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so oh my gosh. I can actually kind of show That's so you great. Here. So oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. So she's opening one right now and you've got all the smaller boxes inside. Oh. Um, Yes, the there. smaller blind boxes. So this really is such a great idea yes. um, to get somebody because then they get, you know, multiple opportunities exactly. to open it up and be surprised with yep. what they get. So would you say that the store is mostly geared toward kids or do you have a lot of people who are older that are just really big fans of these collections? I would have to say um, lots of people of all ages come in. Um, like I say, awesome. it's a lot of people look at the store and they think it's just for kids, but it's for all ages. There's something for everybody there. I love there. that. Okay. Yes. Well, you you guys have a lot of really great promotions uh, just in time for the holidays. Yes. So, for example, this month, um, there's a buy one, get one promotion happening yes. on certain items. On select items and collections, um, Black Friday, we are doing $8 off of any purchase that is $40 or more. Awesome. It is stackable with um, our current promotions. Uh, December, we are doing 50% off of select items. Okay. And um, we are also having a giveaway. Um, if you go to our page on Instagram at niso.usa you can enter to win a chance um you can <laughs> win um a hundred dollar voucher at our north park maniso here in davenport oh wow okay so all we have to do for that is just find you guys uh, yep. miniso usa on mm -hmm. instagram and or tiktok or um TikTok. at miniso okay. united states okay and look at that store it just kind of yes. makes you happy just looking it's at all a the very and bright there. and cheery store when you walk in there it's just joy oh um, my gosh. And that's that's really what we're just trying to do is bring joy into people's lives and just and everyone have, and have a little yeah. fun. Well, life you guys, is for fun. <laughs> life is for fun. That's yes. actually their motto at the store. Yes. Uh, so yeah, there's all the information. If you want to see more from Mini Sew, you can follow along on Instagram and TikTok. We've got both the handles on your screen. Again, there's that giveaway. So just go to the Instagram page or TikTok for a chance to win a $100 voucher. That would be helpful around this oh, time of yeah. year uh, for the store there at North Park Mall. April, wonderful job. Thank you for letting me open something. Thank you. <laughs> you made my day. <laughs> really appreciate it. Oops. All right. Well, still to come on QCL Max Models and Talent is back showcasing clothing accessories from local stores and boutiques and we are getting glam for the holidays next.
coming up tomorrow on Quad Cities Live. Ring in the holiday season at more than 100 businesses during Deck the Downtowns. We'll get details on the holiday display challenge, ornament hunts, and special events planned through Christmas. Plus, the biggest wine sales day of the year is coming up next week. Yes, it is the day before Thanksgiving. Wide River Winery will be here with details on that, along with what's planned for Black Friday and Small Business Saturday. That and so much more tomorrow on Friday's edition of QCL. When it comes to dressing for holiday events and parties, we have covered what's in our own closets. We've talked about how to keep it casual. Well, Holly Bell is back, along with models from Max Models and Talent. Uh, and Holly, we are now uh, getting glam for the holidays. Oh, yeah, I've been looking forward to this the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. My favorite. Favorite, sparkle and glam. I mean, I wish you could do it more, and I think people should just dress up. Yes. Not worry about, is this inappropriate? Am I too dressed up? Just do it. Just if you feel like doing it, you, you, you do dress it. up. You yes. dress up and you be pretty. Yes. Well, there are so many opportunities as well to do that. Of course, you've got the Christmas holiday, depending on what you're doing for Christmas, but also you've got New Year's Eve yes, you do. coming up. So there are lots of opportunities for you to get some inspiration here today. Uh, so let's, uh, I believe, start with Mandy. Of course. Oh, I love this. Here's so man, isn't this beautiful? Yes. I mean, not everybody wants to wear a dress, okay? Lots of times people like to wear pants. There's nothing more gorgeous oh. than a pantsuit. And this is a red satin pantsuit. It's gorgeous. So so versatile too, because you could wear that jacket with black pants. It would be fabulous. Mm -hmm. And just a just a simple little camisole in the middle. But it's just such an elegant look for any place. I mean, you could go to a more casual gathering, or you could go to a black tie gathering. I mean, it's all very appropriate. Yeah, you could wear this pretty much anywhere. And yeah, when I was talking, looking at the jacket, I mean, you said black pants. I mean, even a pair of jeans or something. Yeah, even like a pair of jeans. It's amazing. Yeah, you can put a dressy top and a pair of jeans on, yeah. and, and it, it's just cool looking. Yeah, and I love that. And again, we have the the ultra fabulous jewelry. Yes, the accessories. Mm -hmm. Accessories. It's all about <gasps> accessories this year. So have, have fun. Go buy some. Yes, uh, those are beautiful. Now, I have to ask, are the earrings also from Dillard's? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, now you know. Because we've seen, like, really cool, like, statement pieces today from Dillard's, which, yes. yeah, that's very cool. So Mandy looking beautiful. Um, and the, the suit as well, is that also from Dillard's? Oh, yes. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. Everything's from Dillard, even the handbag. Okay, mm -hmm. beautiful. Well, Dillers, Mandy, take a look. Yeah, you look beautiful. Thank you. We're going to bring them all up, too, at the end of the segment so everyone can get one last look. Uh, right now, we have Hope. <laughs> Here's Hope, and she's, she's wearing something from Cherry Lane, and Cherry oh, Lane used gorgeous. to be Peaceful Styles. I mean, you don't have to. I know it's tempting mm. to wear black or red or green at Christmas, but I love a good off-white, a good cream. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it just, it's just so elegant. Yes, I love a winter white. Mm, I will. I do. I always do. And yeah, for, for folks who can't, you know, see the, the dress in person right now, it is. It is like a little bit of an off-white or almost even like an ivory color. It's yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it is. And and, and you know what? In a sea of black, wear a, a light colored dress and you will stand out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the necklace that Hope has on is gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous too? It's kind of a pearl inlay and longer and so many for so many years it's been shorter and layered yeah. and now the the longer pendant necklaces are kind of coming back and it's kind of welcome to see them isn't it it is i'm glad that, that i hung on to some of mine yes but, you I know did. it's a good excuse to buy some more jewelry yes it is and then add some, a few little blingy bracelets you know yes. that always Sparkle. kicks it up a notch yeah oh wow that's beautiful and uh where did you say this dress was from again cherry, cherry? lane cherry lane mm -hmm. wow okay hope that's beautiful thank you thank you all right, we have Connie coming Connie, up. Connie, speaking of the cream and the off-white. I love this so much. Isn't this, when I saw that skirt, I'm oh. like, oh my gosh, we have to show that skirt. It's the most beautiful thing. I need that skirt with the little appliques or beading on it. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. And actually, it, it's stones and beads are, oh. are sewed onto it. Okay. It is super, super elegant. And I love the cut of it, just that long, slim cut. Yeah. It's very flattering. Yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. And and I love the satin blush. That, that satin blush. You could wear again and again with even, like you said, jeans or a yes. black 
pants. You, that could go through the holidays and beyond forever. And then, of course, we have the jewelry again. Yeah. Because I kind of went nuts with the with the glitter. I but, love the jewelry. But, but that's what we do here. It goes with the skirt <laughs> so perfectly. It and does. one thing that Connie was saying too before we started the segment is that the top that she has paired this with wasn't actually how it was like presented in the store. Mm -hmm. So I just like I think that's an important reminder for people as well is like you can make other things work. It doesn't have to be the exact thing that's you exactly know. right. Yeah, there was a, it was a bustier that was that was with that and that didn't work, but that might work for somebody else. But this, this works perfectly for her. It does, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, uh, thank you so much, Connie. I love that skirt. I'm gonna need to get that. Uh, Stephanie. Stephanie's wearing a cute Ooh. little, cute little swingy dress yeah. from 838. And you know that, that deep burgundy or that darker red is very on trend this year. And um, and I love the little lace sleeves. I mean, she just looks like I'm going to have fun and party. I really she? like that. Yeah, it's kind of like a little bit of a retro. Like yeah, it is a little bit look. retro and how comfy. Yeah. I mean, really easy wear, comfortable, and again, you could wear that so many different places because you can casual it up, or you could dress it down. You absolutely could. Yeah, that is Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever you want it for, uh, yes. just a night out in the fall. Absolutely beautiful. And again, we blinked it up with uh, some blingy bracelets. I mean, it's all about the glitter for mm -hmm. holidays. Uh, wonderful. Okay, I want to show the website again for uh, Max Models. It is maxmodels.org uh, right there on your screen. And that's really if you want to learn about everything that Max Models does. Uh, we love to see all these ladies on the show uh, looking wonderful. They do such a great job. Holly, thank you so much for coming on the show today. And uh, we want to take kind of a final look at everybody. Yes. My yes. pleasure. Aren't, aren't they beautiful? Yes. All ready to party. We better go out, guys. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. Your News at 4 is coming up next. The app today.